Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Zina speaking. Today we'll be talking about what is avulsion of the teeth, whether taking place in the primary or the permanent dentition. But before we continue, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below for more and more videos. Avulsion means the tooth is out of the socket or the tooth is knocked out of the socket. That is commonly seen after an accident, whether it is a football or a car accident, occasionally the tooth will be displaced out of the socket. That is what is avulsion. Now we talked previously about the different type of injuries, concussion, subluxation, extrusive and intrusive luxation together with lateral luxation. Now, the avulsion, it is the most common dental injury among all others. It is the most commonly seen among the, both the primary and permanent dentition. Now, if we have an avulsed primary tooth, what shall, shall we do? We shall never re-implant an avulsed primary tooth because uh, afterward, the primary tooth will be replaced by the permanent successor. And if you re-implant an avulsed primary tooth, it will affect the eruption of the permanent successor at the end. So never ever re-implant an avulsed primary tooth. So re-implanting an avulsed primary tooth will result in damaging the permanent successor or the uh, permanent tooth bud. So never attempt to re-implant an avulsed primary tooth because afterward as i said that the primary tooth will be replaced by the permanent successor so no need to re-implant it then what shall we re-implant we shall re-implant an avulsed permanent tooth we shall re-implant an avulsed permanent tooth because we don't want to lose the permanent tooth, so we shall re-implant it. But what is the extraoral dry time regarding the permanent tooth? Not like uh, if we have a knocked out permanent tooth and you can re-implant it within two to three hours. No, of course, you can never re-implant a tooth if the extraoral dry time is more than one hour. So you need to be careful about the extraoral dry time. The less, the better the prognosis will be for the tooth at the end. Because if it is kept outside for more than 60 minutes or one hour, this will result in resorption, internal resorption of the tooth, and we might lose the tooth and it will have a poor prognosis eventually. So as I said, you shall re-implant an avulsed permanent tooth within 60 minutes of extra oral dry time. You know, the, the less, the better the prognosis will be. So the best prognosis if you re-implanted the tooth within 30 minutes of an extra oral dry time. But don't worry, if you uh, managed within 60 minutes exactly of the extra oral dry time, also it will have a good prognosis. Now, what are the steps of re-implantation that you shall be aware of? Never touch the roots of the tooth. Only hold the crown of the tooth. Because if you touch the roots and the roots, they will go inside the socket. This might result in resorption at the end. So we shall never touch the roots of the tooth that will go inside the socket. Second of all, you shall never keep the tooth dry within 60 minutes of an extra oral dry time. You need to keep the tooth in Hanks balanced salt solution. That is the best solution in which you will keep an avulsed uh, permanent tooth. If you do not have this solution, you can keep it. The second good prognosis is cold, low fat milk, cold, low fat fat milk because it contains calcium and calcium is good for your teeth. If you do not have milk, then you can keep it in a saline 
Saline is basically water and salt. It is also uh, a good prognosis in comparison with the water. If you do not have any of these, you can keep it in the water, but it will have like a poor prognosis. So better if you wanna keep the tooth in water, it should be the extraoral dry time is less than 30 minutes, not 60 minutes in comparison if you keep it in Hanks balanced salt solution which is the best solution that is kept for an avulsed tooth and the second best is the cold low fat milk the third best is the saline you can keep all these within 60 minutes of extra oral dry time but regarding the water it's better like within 30 minutes of an extra oral dry time now once you keep the tooth inside one of these solutions you need to take the tooth immediately to the dentist in order for the dentist to re-implant the tooth for you. Now I will show you a, a picture of how the Hanks Balanced Salt Solution looks like. So this is the Hanks Balanced Salt Solution. You can buy it from any nearby pharmacy. Once you have avulsion, you can buy this solution from any nearby pharmacy and place the tooth inside this solution until you go to the dentist and re-implant it and as i said the extra oral dry time should be within 60 minutes or less not more than 60 minutes now if you remember from my previous videos i told you about the different type of injuries and the splinting time that is required now we will go directly to the avulsion because my topic today is only about avulsion and I already discussed about the different type of injuries with the treatment before in my videos. So make sure to watch my previous videos to know more. Now regarding the avulsion, the splinting time is two to four weeks depending on the extra alveolar dry time, whether it is 60 minutes or 30 minutes of the extra oral dry time the dentist would recommend how many weeks of splinting of the tooth. So here is the picture. We will re-implant the avulsed permanent tooth and then apply a splinted wire, apply GIC, light cure, and uh, depending on the extra oral dry time, we will keep the splinted wire either for two weeks or four weeks, which is a month. Thank you all for watching my video. If you have any questions, make sure to write it down in the comment section below. I will be more than happy to answer your questions. And please don't forget to press the like button if you enjoyed my video and subscribe down below for more and more videos.